shall we begin? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, how's uh, how's Australia? Yeah, it's it's really good. Did you did you want to talk to me because um you're gonna film this? Film? Um, no, 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 no. Of course yeah. not. Of course not. No, no. Okay. No, 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 no. That's fine. Okay. So this month, I went to my first ever summer in the city. It was probably one of the best weekends of my life, maybe? You don't sound convinced by that. I felt a part of something for the first time ever. But the night before, I was I was just so nervous. If I see Adrian Bliss, I'm, I'm just gonna lose my shit. I'm not, I don't think I'm ready. And it's in London. Oh, where even is London? Is that like the middle? I really don't wanna be alone the whole weekend. Oh, I really hope Foozy Tube goes so I can tell him how much he's inspired me to be <laughs> nothing like him. <laughs> I was just really worried about making friends and like feeling like I didn't belong. But honestly, the complete opposite happened. I immediately like found a kind of group that I seemed to get along with. And yeah, it's just so surreal that you good there. I also learned so much at Sitsi. I went to a lot of the panels, mainly the kind of filmmaking orientated ones. And I <laughs> became part of in jokes as well, like Video Cut Pro. I have no idea what that is. Neither do I, but... What do I know? 
What do I know? Oh, don't do this again. What do I know? Flashing. Lights. She don't believe in... Uh, the reason I left Sitsi early was to go to my beautiful dark twisted fantasy in orchestra and I mean it was hands down the best concert I've ever been to. I wasn't really allowed to film it, they like took my camera away but I have never been so blown away by how people have covered things like that before. It's honestly, oh my god. It was incredible and something I'm never going to forget. Uh, but anyway, how's how's Australia? How's Australia treating you? It's funny because um, we uh, we FaceTimed last time uh, when I was in Australia and you FaceTimed me and now you're in Australia. I'm FaceTiming you. Do you remember the Do you remember Do you remember the video? I don't watch your videos, Sam. Okay, so um, I'm actually really going to have to go. I'm really busy. It's it's a really busy time of day here. What time of... So, um... Isn't it like seven... I'm, go I'm just gonna... It no. Bye. Bye, bye, bye then. Bye. I miss you. I miss you. When I was a kid, I could think of nothing that I enjoyed more than summer because I just had the most free time. I think it was when I, we all turned 18, me and my friends, that summer kind of changed for me. Boom, we out here, Sonic the Hedgehog, why? What we now get up to in summer gets a bit repetitive. The ones that spring to mind, we go to the pub, Quite a lot. Do cheers. Che do cheers. Do the cheers. Yeah, no, can you go cheers? Can you do it? Can you, can you just say the ch Can you do the cheers? Uh, the other thing we do is golf because now we're all adults. That's uh, that's that's all there is to do. Just golf. That's the one. Nice shot. And ruined. And I ruined it. Like there's nothing terrible about summer. I'm still relaxing. Uh, I'm still having fun and everything, but when an opportunity to do something really different, really unique, when that comes around, I do not hesitate. the long walk and I fully understand why because we've been walking for a good two hours and we've not even seen the Queen once so Ow. Uh, oh it's Hayley it's Hayley Spending today helping my grandma by moving some DVDs and some VHSs around. Philomena. There you go. I thought it would be a good time to discuss the short film situation. I think that for now I'm gonna let the the idea I was working with last last month I'm gonna let that rest because um, clearly it's a bit too ambitious for the time frame I have. I don't want to just um, make a film for the sake of making a film as well. I need to be certain with the idea that I am passionate enough about that I would do it justice and I think if you're not passionate about a project it's gonna fall through. At some point Florence Foster Jenkins right there. Hugh Grant. Time off is important sometimes and I do forget that and I work too hard. I need time to stop and think about these things. This is what this month will be now. 
and then he'd set it so that it was delayed action, you know. Yeah. He could come and join. And by that time, we're absolutely <laughs> fed up having a grin no on way. our faces. That's funny, because that's what I, I spend a lot of my time setting up the camera, but with videos, of course, and then yeah. running in, into a shop, and then I'll, I'll briefly be having yeah. a genuine conversation, yeah. and yeah. then the camera will still be going. Yes. <laughs> so there we go. That's wonderful. There's an article about that sort of thing in here. Asking parents what they'd rather have, a child who's extremely clever or a child who's happy. Yeah. What do you think is the most important well, for a child? Happiness. I have happiness as well. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter how clever you are, if you're not a nice person with that cleverness, mm. you won't be really happy, will you? This was a triumph. I'm making a note here, huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Aperture science. We do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. I realize, like, don't even care. It's not completely in the middle. Huh? Yeah, it's arty. It's not supposed to be, it's supposed to be arty. Yeah, arty. Thank Do you, you remember that I was doing a short film? Yep. And like, it went a little bit wrong, and I couldn't like, finish it. <laughs> <laughs> he's got no idea what he's doing. Ah. So the, the game I want to play is quite simple. You just got to people watch, and then come up with a scenario, so like a backstory, and then I'll try and make a film out of it. I like it. Okay. Let's start with these guys. What are they up to? Two guys walking along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. brothers. Two, two brothers. Two bros. Chin on a low worth. Five feet apart. Cause no. they're not gay. The key point I want to focus on is the backstory. Cause I think okay. when people make like their first short film, they really don't focus on the kind of character arc. Why the character like this? Take the people that are just out there. So, guy with this top off. Hell yeah. Nipple man. Uh, <laughs> Nipple man. Mm. And he's with a woman? Why? I'm gonna say partner. Girl. Yeah. Partner. Okay, <laughs> what's his what's his backstory okay, there? He is walking the entire <laughs> coastline. Is this the coastline, by the way? Is this the coastline? Yeah, he's exploring. He's, he's prepared like for anything War. the weather's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> oh the tourists are back. The tourists are back. Their brothers um, talking about a new business venture. Okay, well, what what business well, at the making moment. the real life Iron Man? So the next stage is to link these characters together. So we've got the two Blood Brother tourist business Iron Man ventures. The guy who doesn't wear a top and his happy partner. And the walking explorer. <laughs> the story of Iron Boot and Nipple Man. <laughs> 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 who is the antagonist of the story. Who's the bad guy? Oh, partner. What, the partner. Yeah. I don't know. Just the like in Step Up Four, wherever it is. I've not seen Step Up yeah, Four. Yeah, it's, I've not it's seen. the, it's why, the brother, why the have protagonist you step who's up evil. Why have Miami you Heat or whatever it is. Spoilers. Right. right. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. No, I think the moral of that lesson for me is that you can't rush short films, and you should take your time to make sure you have a solid idea before you rush yourself. I just doing a project. Solid idea. Uh, uh, Iron Boot and Nipple Man. <laughs> solid. Uh, Bosh, and also, some months are quite easy to pin down a moral or message, uh, some are quite difficult. I never shoehorn in a theme, it just sometimes takes a bit longer to find a meaning. <sighs> August's theme, however, it was so obvious to me, it was community. Despite how often I consider myself an outsider or not belonging to one group, I was part of something this month. Summer in the City was where I first realised I belonged to something, and it was from there that I took notice of these other collectives that I fit in. The friends I rarely see, and the friends I probably see way too much. Also family, which is a community I probably take a bit for granted. We went to a spa on the last day of August in Centre Parks for my mum's birthday, and it was a rare moment where I sat back and realised how much this camera shy bunch actually mean to me. And this final community is this group of online people. I did a lot of live streams. It completely wrecked my sleeping pattern, but I finally felt like I was contributing to this small YouTube community thing that I still have so much to learn about. But August made me realize that, you know what? I'm not alone. Not anymore, anyways.